Well, as question marks continue to remain about Kyrie Irving's future in Brooklyn, Woj at ESPN, I would argue the best reporter we got in the game today, had some pretty harsh comments, if you're a Brooklyn Nets fan, about what could happen, assuming Kyrie and Brooklyn are not able to get on the same page. Woj said this on ESPN programming, for everything owner Joe Sy and general manager Sean Marks did to assemble one of the moderns, NBA's most talented big three. Irvin's impenetrable connection to Durant looms as a domino to the dismantling of this roster. Brooklyn is straddling the narrows of walkways, keeping conviction on Irvin's contract talks and keeping Kevin Durant's desire to stay a net. There are teams rooting for Irvin to opt out and walk away from the nets, believing it would give them the chance to cobble together trade packages, not to acquire Kyrie. Oh, no, no, no. But according to Woj, he believes that if Kyrie walks out of Brooklyn, Kevin Durant could be soon to follow. That would be crazy. In my wildest of dreams, after watching Kevin Durant, that was less than a year ago where he signed that extension with Brooklyn, right? I never in my wildest dreams thought less than a year later, not only would Kevin Durant and the Brooklyn Nets be bounced out of the first round after getting rid of James Harden at the deadline, Kyrie Irving could potentially be out. And maybe that even means Kevin Durant could be out. What a stunning turn of events for Kevin Durant, who had to literally just watch his former team, the Golden State Warriors, go back to the promised land and take care of business without him. The narrative already exists that they never needed him, and they kind of helped prove that narrative once again. This has been, I'm sure Kevin Durant is a blessed man behind the scenes. He's rich, wealthy, phenomenal businessman. Seems like a really good person. This has been an awful, horrid year for Kevin Durant's legacy. I don't even think he could argue that if you got him behind the scenes. It just has been. And it could continue to the point where he's like, yo, enough is enough. Get me out of Brooklyn, according to Woj. And teams are watching. Teams are like, uh, Kyrie, uh, we don't know if he's going to play or not play. But we know that dude Kevin Durant's going to give it his all if he can get out there. And if he becomes available we'd be willing to trade a lot of stuff and move a lot of moving pieces if Brooklyn has to go full rebuild, if they lose three first ballot Hall of Famers in one calendar year. That would be unheard of. That would be ridiculous. And apparently teams are rooting for Kyrie to continue his madness.